Hi everyone, this is Ants. Today I'll be talking about Sky 3D, which is a Godot 4 night and day cycle uh, open source plugin that you could actually just plop in your game. It automatically rotates the sun, the moon, the stars. You could change the time scale. You have dynamic clouds and atmosphere and fog. And I'm going to show you that quickly in a quick review. And there is a website, it's actually made by Tokusan Games, and they make uh, some other stuff, uh, like they're, they're actually actively making Out of Ashes, Out of the Ashes game here. And um, and the reason why I'm plugging this is because they've actually created multiple plugins, like Terrain 3D uh, and Sky 3D. And so I need to plug and make sure we support these people who actually actively create plugins for all of us to use, right? And again, there is also Terrain 3D that they use in their game. And it's also available on the GitHub uh, repositories. Okay, but we're going to be talking about Sky 3D. Okay, so this uh, was a, rec a resurrected... Um, project they originally had a version um, 3 version and they've uh, switched everything from C sharp to uh, GD script now and it works under Godot uh, uh, 4 and it, it's only supported in the forward and mobile renderers and uh, it automatically rotates the sun moon and stars and does dynamic clouds and isomer, uh, fog and all that kind of stuff so here are some screenshots. I'll have a link in the description of everything. So let's actually see the demo. Okay. So I have it running now uh, in debug mode and I connected to the remote so I could show you that you could actually uh, disable things on the fly. So I'm getting rid of the fog because at nighttime, you don't, uh, sorry, the, the clouds. I wanna get rid of the clouds because now you could see the Milky Way Right, as you can see the Milky Way, and I've changed the speed of everything. Right, so I'm going to change it to 30, and now let's go to 15 to make it so you can notice the effect. Now it's slowed down. Right, so depending on uh, the minutes per day and all that kind of stuff, you could actually speed things up. I'm speeding things up because I want to show you the transition between night and day, and this is the reason why I'm speeding it up. So I've sped it up, and now we're going to have sunrise without the clouds All right and now that we're putting the clouds back in and i changed some things so you could rot rotate around let's put the fps there right and we're going to talk about the fps in a second and as you can see, it's doing the full cycle of day and night. And let's go back to the nighttime because it's actually quite nice. And let's get rid of the clouds because I like the, there you go. And there's the moon too. And the moon phases look like it's changing and the actual location of the moon is changing throughout the days and stuff like that. So it's kind of like the full cycle, right? So um, yeah. Let's see if we could see where the the moon is. Sometimes it comes out during the day, the moon. Here's sunrise again. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, performance of it. I thought the performance was low. Oh, by the way, the performance actually changes depending on the height of kind of like the sun. And I noticed that at uh, sunset, the FPS tanks, uh, uh, look, look at the FPS now, it's gonna, oh, here, the moon was right there. Look, as you can see, it went down to 194 and then it comes back back up. So there's something at, um, when the sun is low in the horizon, screen space um, stuff is probably really uh, cramping things down, right? So yeah. Uh, and by the way, I didn't have clouds and the FPS would be worse with the clouds and stuff, right? But so let's just uh, stabilize here, 300 FPS. And now let's go to the proximity thing here and get rid of this. And this 
is ju is just the sky plugin doing its thing okay it's so 300 fps and it's going to come to um, nighttime and you'll see what's going on behind the scenes here see there is the the moon there and that's it so this is really what it's doing it's doing that final kind of like they call it the sky dome it's a dome so it's a sky dome and they actually project all these kind of textures in there so they have the milky way texture uh the moon textures that sort of thing so it's all there so here's sunrise and that's what it's doing Again, the performance under certain scenarios, it goes up and down. So that's one of the things to look out for, okay? Uh, the other thing, the drawback is it only supports it on the Forward Plus and mobile. Um, and so compatibility mode is not uh, supported, okay? They have a demo. One of the things they should have did is they should have combined Terrain 3D and a Sky 3D demo together and it would have been a really good demo but i'm pretty sure the performance wouldn't be that great um so that's basically it so um where to get this well i'll show you All right you could either go to uh, tokusan games and actually click on sky 3d and then just go to download on, on github and it'll take you there and all that kind of stuff so yeah, that is Sky 3D, installation instructions, how to use it. And the other thing um, is they are a bunch of parameters you could actually change. You could change the, um, the power of the moonlight, the power of the sunlight, everything. Everything is configurable. And so that's good and bad in a way. So you'll be changing a bunch of things, but um, yeah. That's basically it. And you could get um, some things like this, given if you have the train that actually looks like this. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Take care. Bye.